okay in this video I will show you that uh, how we can <coughs> uh, basically import an audio data in Python okay so uh, I'm assuming that uh, this particular Jupyter notebook file basically IPython file is basically stored in the same directory where my WAV file is stored let me show you that structure as well this is my directory where I would like to read this uh, audio underscore data dot uh, WAV file okay and this is my uh, IPython notebook file both of them are basically staying in the same directory okay so that's why we can uh, avoid this particular absolute uh, path uses so now let me uh, just uh, import some of the standard libraries for that so first of all I need to in I need to import three different library function for my uses one is numpy another is a scipy and matplotlib okay so numpy is for numerical data analysis and numerical data generations scipy is to, for reading the WAV file from the hard disk and matplotlib for plotting this particular data audio data okay so let me import uh, let me just uh, maximize a little bit okay fine now this is okay so import numpy as in np so I'm just I'll be importing uh, numpy module at a numpy package as np in my case now from scipy.io.wav file import read function now import lib.py plot as sorry plt okay so now uh, these three necessary things have been imported let me execute this code first of all and now just uh, do something like that <coughs> now I'm just creating a variable which is file underscore name and I'll be just giving the name of my audio file the audio file name is a u d i o read sorry audio data dot wav that was my audio file audio file name and now I would like to import so in this particular thing is that in this uh, read method read method it returns two variable one is sampling frequency another is a data means audio data so these two variables these two outputs I'm just capturing by two different variables first it returns sampling frequency that I will capture through FS variable then data okay equals to read file name so it will return me the sampling frequency and data and uh, now let me just uh, print this particular sampling frequency value let's see exactly this is exactly sampling that I'm writing this hodge format sorry fs so this is sampling frequency is 44.1 kilohertz basically the audio data I recorded in one of my uh, another video where I demonstrated that how in um, order city software we can record the data and there we I, I just took uh, sampling frequency 44.1 kilohertz and I recorded my audio data voice data through stereo channel so in this particular data there will be two columns because it is a stereo channel so let me check it out as well so if uh, length data dot shape equals to 2 then I'll be printing that thing as a stereo data okay stereo channel otherwise else if length data dot shape equals to 1 then I will print mono channel it is mono channel yes it is stereo channel because in that video I showed you that the sampling frequency was 44.1 kilohertz and the data was recorded through stereo channel that's good that means now data is basically numpy array let me check exactly print data okay 
so this is a numpy array multi dimensional numpy array and uh, the shape of the data is number of sample points that should be kept in a row and number of channels that is uh, left channel and right channels so now i would like to capture i would like to capture uh, let me just uh, introduce something here that means i want to comment it down uh, load audio data so this is the loading audio data section now i'll be just uh, using that things mm. read channel data so i'll be reading channel data okay so what is this uh, read channel data let me read channel data so data left channel left channel equals to data it's a numpy array and i would like to take all the row elements and the left channel that means a zero okay that is the first column and data right channel equals to data this this so these are the two channels i'm separating out in the two different variables again data underscore left channel and data underscore right channel both of them are numpy array okay and they have only one columns where data has two columns okay so now next thing is that i have to create the time vector okay so basically if we just simply plot data underscore left channel it will plot the signal but along the x-axis is it basically displays the sample number so sometimes this is meaningless because once you just take a look of the picture we cannot have any clear idea about how long the data is okay in that case we have to mention the sampling frequency separately and someone has to calculate from the sampling rate and the number of sample points how long the data is so it's better to create the time vector itself okay so now what i'm creating i'm just uh, i'm just uh, identifying how many numbers of samples are present in each of the channels so both the channels having same number of samples so i'll just calculate data uh, data points from any of those channels so how do i calculate n equals to data uh, left channel dot size so that will give me number of sample points okay so now t vector equals to how do i create basically uh, the idea is that if there are 10 sample points so i have to first create 0 to 9 index values then I have to multiply with the sampling interval. Okay, so let me create the, what is the sampling interval? Ts is equals to one divided by fs. Sampling rate is reciprocal. Now t vector, time vector is equals to numpy a range capital N. That means zero to n minus one. That means number of integer value it will return me into Ts. So this is my t vector. Okay. So this is created now uh, let me execute this code okay fine now it is basically the plotting section plot data so now i will plot this particular data for that plot i'm just creating a canvas of uh, size 12 comma 4 now plot i'll be plotting two figures in two subplots uh, they will be arranged in row order okay that means uh, in, in this particular canvas we have upper panel and we will have lower panel in the upper panel i'll be plotting the left channel data in the lower panel i'll be plotting the right channel data okay that's why i'm just creating the subplot subplot 2 comma 1 comma 1 that means two row one column first section plot plot t comma data left channel okay similarly let me copy this section now i'm just plotting the sub sub subplot 2 and this is right channel now plot show okay so plot show is that for showing uh, showing this particular plot let me show yes so this is upper panel is showing the left channel data lower panel is showing the right channel data now what modification i want to do that means i want to do some kind of little bit of decorations that we can see the common thing is that both the channel having the same time scale so i'll be just removing 0 5 10 these numbers from this uh, axis of the uh, upper subplot so how do i do that x 
ticks tick values of x where ticks equals to null list right so that means it removes the tick levels again in addition to that i would like to print time in second in this particular label of x axis so this is the subplot 2 so now plt uh, x label time in second okay so time in second it appears and uh, also I would like to uh, print left channel in the y-axis and right channel in this y-axis of the subplot so in the subplot 1 uh, I'll be doing plt y label left channel and uh, here I'll be doing right channel what happened basically y label sorry y label okay so this is left channel this is right channel so in this way we can just import any audio data in a numpy array and uh, we can just display this particular data in this particular way also suppose i would like to plot with a different color so i can just uh, use color parameter here suppose i want to use black color here this is i want to plot color equals to black so rgb and basically line width equals to one i want to have a narrow line so in this way we can just plot it i think uh, we can just modify a little bit yes uh, little narrower lines so in this way we can just uh, plot uh, the signals and we can also do some little bit of modification on this particular decoration suppose i want to plot some uh, grid axis over here grid here grid also so the grid lines will be displayed over there okay so in this way we can basically just show the left right left and right channels of one stereo audio data and uh, we can read the data in the python environment and further you can just do a lot of processing on that because the data is there in the numpy arrays so after that in numpy supports all mathematical operations signal processing operation on it so you can do these operations as well thank you